Jason, we have a breaking situation right now in Candler. Water is across the roadway on Smoky Park Highway. Rescue crews are looking for someone who got out of their car. News 13's Hannah McKenzie is there. You see those live pictures coming in right now with the latest. Hannah, what can you tell us? As you can see, those crews packing that boat up right now. We have some amazing news to tell you guys. The man who they were looking for just walked up behind us right here. His name is Jose. He actually said he didn't realize how deep this water was when he drove into it. And before he could know what was happening, he threw it in reverse. It was too late. Take a look out there behind us. You can see one car there, the tail end of one car. That is not the car that Jose drove in. I'm told there are five vehicles behind me here on Smoky Park Highway, which is very hard to believe. When we first arrived here, we could at least see four of them. So this water is rising very, very rapidly. Now we have a lot to tell you about in this area right now with the remnants of Tropical Storm Fred really taking a toll here. Haywood County being hit especially hard. We tried to head close to Haywood County, and this is as far as we could get. Smoky Park Highway clearly closed. Um, also, another area of Smoky Park Highway closed following the collapse of a retaining wall near Church Street in Canton. And two lanes of I-40 westbound are closed as crews work to clean up a debris flow. Right now, Haywood County at, is declared as a state of emergency. The Haywood County Commission Chairman Kevin Ensley making that declaration just about an hour ago. He activated temporary shelters in that um, declaration and also gave emergency management staff the authority to shut down roads and areas that are deemed dangerous. And speaking of those road closures, obviously there are many right now. Down trees and power lines posing a real threat across much of our viewing area right now. So much so that um, David Uchiyama with the North Carolina Department of Transportation warning folks, if you do not have to be out on the roadways right now, don't tempt fate, stay at home. He tells me this is a warning they usually keep back for ice and snowstorms, but if you take a look behind me, you can tell today clearly an exception. And fortunately, as I explained, the rescue that was happening when we first arrived here ended on a very happy note. Jose was okay. He said he had to swim him out of his car, kind of got swept up in some currents, but he is safe. So I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio.